want this? Baton. Well, I know, We've but... We've already had our allowance for the month. You mean... Not another slice till next Wednesday. Morning, darling. Morning, darling. Never seen such a man for bacon. Never seen such bacon for a man. Pauline. Where's Nanette? She already had her breakfast, what there was of it. Bread, pudding, and milk. Not my idea of a breakfast. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Nanette. <laughs> Good morning, Styles. Good morning. Say, Miss Nanette, I don't want to seem inquisitive, stiff, but um, how are they feeding you up at the house? Oh, how do they feed me? Oh, what on earth? Oh, this morning I had uh, orange juice, uh, strawberries and cream, uh, poached eggs on toast. Uh, poached eggs? Mm-hmm. Poached eggs. Do you know what they gave Pauline and Hamilton this morning for breakfast? Bread pudding with milk. Oh, that sounds horrible. Sounds horrible? It'd be all right if you only had to listen to it, but you got to eat it. Your horoscope says, beware of 1940. Sun and Taurus, Moon and Capricorn. You are externally a materialist, but this is a libel. In reality, an idealist with a tendency to dissipate cash. And that's where I come in. Darling, we have a million in the bank. <laughs> My darling, always looking on the bright side. Even in 29, when everyone's business was crashing right and left, you were optimistic. Are they eating apples? Oh, they're delicious. But she don't eat them. She counts them. Just imagine a, a little stalk like this holding up a great big apple like that. Yeah. She calls that one Taurus. And this one she calls Sagittarius. Sagittarius. This one is called Plato. And this one is called... It came off in my hand. It came off in my hand. No, it's <laughs> silly. She calls... What did you do? What did you do? Where's the paste? You got to stick it back. You. What are we going to do? Keep calm, Star. We can't put Taurus back, can we? Would you like half? Yes. I... No, 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 no. Come on, you have half. All right, I don't know. I got a wife and four kids. Cane collect. Send it back, collect. Give it back to the boy. Oh, a mistake. Terrible. Maybe it's for me. No, 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 no. It's my mistake. You, you got to swallow the curse so there won't be no fingerprints. Oh, my little lamb. Some deal went wrong. Oh, wasn't the deal at all. At least I never thought it was. Here she comes. Quick. I don't even mind sending the paper napkins out to be dry clean. But when she asks me to put yellow soap instead of cheese in the mouse traps, I'm leaving. And so are the mine. Oh, what is the matter, Uncle? The I'm in a mess. Oh, business? No. Hey! Uh, it's not Auntie. No. What is it? Oh, well, don't think I mean... Well, I don't mean that anyway. You see, the poor girl has lost her purse. A poor girl? A lovely Russian girl I met on the Albany night boat. Oh! Oh, no, no, Nanette. No, 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 not what you're thinking at all. Don't you see, Nanette, she was terribly anxious to go on the stage. And her family, some kind of nobility, objected and cut her off. Without a penny? Without a penny. So I lent her some money for acting lessons. Uncle, that girl didn't need any lessons. So? Uncle. Uncle, why? Well, you see, I'm a very ordinary man, trying to work out life's happy plan, doing unto others that I like them to do unto me. 
When I find a very lonely soul, to be kind becomes my only goal. I feel so much better when I tell them my philosophy. I want to be happy, but I won't be happy till I make them happy too. Life's really worth living when we are most giving. Why can't I give some to you? Uncle, I've got an idea. Pay off this Russian wolfhound. She'll go back to Syracuse for the right amount. The right amount out of my miserable allowance? Oh, no bonds. Well, no, they're only your Aunt Susan's name. You know, the inheritance tax. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, no jewelry? No. Uh... No jewelry. Uh, Mr. William Trainer, sir, calling from the Albi Theatre. I'm busy, Remy, so I can't talk to anyone. Very good, sir. And stop bothering me, Remy. Yes, sir. Uh, Remington, who did you say? Uh, Mr. Trainer, miss. Uncle? No, William Trainer, the theatrical producer? Yes. Oh, well, uh, Remington, right. Yes, miss. Uncle, talk to me. What are you thinking? That's a miracle. Is it? And now you can leave it all to me. Uh, say, uh, it's great to hear your voice, Bill. Say, it's great to hear your voice, Bill. Jimmy, how are you? Say, why can't we cry into some beer together? I haven't seen you since... Hey, can't you afford a paper? I'm breaking in a new musical comedy. Breaking in a new musical comedy. Opening in two weeks. Called So Long, Sister. How do you like the title? We'll change it to So Long, Sonia. We'll change it to So Long, Sonia. Huh? Hello, Bill. Oh, hello. Be with you in a minute. Auntie's birthday party. Auntie's birthday party? Oh, no, it's just my little niece, Nanette. Ask him to a party. What? Oh, yes. yes. Uh, look, will you come to see, uh, you know, my wife's birthday party? Right, I'll be there. So long, Jimmy. Jimmy Smith? Mm-hmm. Of North Shore? Mm-hmm. Dave, let's have the first number. All right, girls. Well, what about me, Bill? If you'd been here just one day earlier, I had just the spot for you. When you get into the house, you'll shine with hospitality. Hospitality? With what? Uh, we've got some apricot brandy in the cellar. That's true, yes. Yeah. Uh, you'll reminisce while you sip your brandy. You'll enjoy the music and the nice breezes. He'll take Sonia for his new show. Oh, Uncle, all your troubles are over. Darling. Oh, and the skies are gray and you say you are blue. I'll send the sun smiling through. Oh, come Everything ready, Uncle? Fine. You might drown your fish before you catch him. Well, first we celebrate our reunion. Yes. Then we reminisce. You reminisce. Then uh, I remind you that I bat your first play. Yes. Bella, old pal, I always knew you'd succeed. Then we... Uh, you cry. We cry into our glasses. Mm -hmm. Bill has his dancing star. And Uncle kisses Sonia. Goodbye. And your digestion. Come on, darling. He may be here. Oh, there he is. Pardon me. Darling, going to all this trouble just because I'm a year older. Oh, well. That's such exquisite perfume. You like it? It's called Extravagant Night. Oh, it's such a lovely bottle. When it's empty, I can use it for a savings bank. Such a lovely cake Maggie made me. Leave him to me. Maggie, that Gillespie's coming to the party. Who's Gillespie? He's that Rue who draws those pictures of girls when they're new. You know. Do you mean he makes a living to them, Mother? The spell. House? Yes. I'm Mr. Gillespie. Why, Mr. Gillespie? We were just talking about you. Really? You know, speak of the devil. At the Albi Theater. There is the great man. Hello. Oh. Hello. I'm Nanette. Nanette Smith. Uncle asked me to meet you. He's with Auntie looking at the cake. That was kind of him. And charming as you, Miss Smith. Oh, you know, Uncle talks so much about you and what great pals you are. Really, I'm flattered. 
Uh, at least I hope I should be. But you certainly should. If you only knew what Uncle thinks about you. You surprise me. Well, why, he was only just saying to me. He said there wasn't anything that she couldn't do for you. Uh, that is, if you wanted anything done. Uh, come on, let's find them. I, uh, I think the cake's in the concern. Nanette! Oh, hello, Tom. Oh, I see you met our niece. Tom? Uh, Gillespie. Oh, how do you do, Mr. Glad? Oh, of course, we've met before. I thought he was... I I'm sorry, I thought you were someone else. Oh, not half so sorry as I am. Tom, everyone's dying to meet you. Just because you're the man that draws the girls without the, uh, you know... I thought it was Bill. Bill, no. Oh, well, are you sure it is? Yeah. That's him. Yes, Bill. You're late. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. You're welcome. He looks easy, Tom. Oh, happy go lucky, Bill. Sonia. Sonia? From Syracuse? Yes. Oh, I'm not even joking. At my own execution. But, 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 then, then, what am I going to do? Uncle, you hide yourself in the conservatory. I'll get rid of her and I'll bring him into it. Now, give yourself a drink because you need it. Up to the still water, still water, still water, and still water, and tend to come over here right away. It's urgent. Oh, what? Well, this house? No, 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 it is house. Get on, get on. Nice to see you. Susie. The same old. Well, you haven't changed a bit. Meet Sonia Sonjevich. Auntie, did you see that? Why, Mr. Trader, how do you do? How do you do? <laughs> how do you do? Well, actually, I prefer portrait work, but my bankers prefer Gillespie girls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me, madam. You know, I think we're going to be in the way. May I? Excuse me. How are you, Tom? Hello, Bill. Nice seeing you. Yes. Nice seeing you. You know, I'm always being mistaken for someone else. Oh, are you? Yes, it used to annoy me, but now I'm rather glad. Oh, I'm through with the chorus. I have another place in the theater. Maybe, but uh, your muscles aren't in the right place for pushing scenery. Very funny. Mr. Gillespie, would you like to do something for me? Why, well, I, I, I certainly would. Well, would you mind cutting in and dancing that girl over there, the one in gold? <laughs> Uh, may I? Sure. Bill, I've been looking for you. Come on, let's dance. Oh, yes, I've uh, been looking for you, too. Now, what foot do we start with? Oh, just let nature take its course. Friendship is one thing, and the other thing is a, 
another thing in, in, in Italian. Oh, Jenny, is this some cruel joke? With your own lips, you said, Mnie chodzi to szczęście, mnie chodzi to szczęście, till I make you happy, too. I say that to everybody because I want everybody to be happy. That doesn't mean... It does to me, Jimmy. With that twinkle in your eye, it could only mean one thing. There wasn't any twinkle in my eye. It's not the twinkle you mean. It was this guy. Oh, Jimmy, that's the Nichivo. Nichivo. Well, where's Grandpa? Oh, Grandpa. Oh, uh, he's in the cellar. Where we keep the apricot brandy. You like apricot brandy, don't you? Yes, but uh, not just now. You see, I'm uh, on the waterway. Oh, on the waterway. I've got your career all cut out for you, a famous producer and a big, juicy part. A part? Yes, the, the dancing part. I can't tell you all the details now, but uh, I'm going to settle everything this evening. Oh, Jimmy. Now, I better keep that mind with you because it's... It, uh, it's a draft in here. Well, we'll show them. those other producers. They think I'm no oh. good. They think I stink. But we'll show them, yes, darling. We'll show them, darling, but quietly. Yes, Jimmy, very quietly. You make me so happy. Oh. 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 A little bird got in there today, and we haven't been able to catch it. Oh. Hello, Bill. Hi, Tom. Uh, you don't mind if I'm in a little hurry, do you? I've got something to get back to. Oh, suits me. Cigarette? Oh, thanks. What's great? Take your pick. Uh, Same old curves, this was model. Mary, Sally, and uh, Mona. Amusing little party last night. Yes, wasn't it? Mm. I mean, wasn't it? <laughs> Rather attractive. Yes, very. If you like the type. Uh, yes, if you like the type. Mr. Trainer? Over the table leg. Hello. Oh, hello. I'm not late, am I? Late? Oh, oh no, it's at 11 o'clock, just on time. It's your vote. Oh, uh, Nippo. Me, me, me. Oh, Dave, give him a break. Okay, girl, take ten minutes. Max, we'll uh, be needing you. No, Mr. Trader, I think you're going to have a very great surprise. Yes, and uh, so are you. Now, Maestro. The name's Max. What are you going to do? Allegro. The first part, Allegro. That is where I'm the dog. The second part, Andante and Pianissimo. Yeah, I know that. But what if... Watch the mood. He's where I'm the wind. Slow on the turn. In the third part... I'm the swan. The same music as in the dub. Oh, and yeah, every... I get it. You want to kill two boys with one stone. Studio Tichek Musica Mendelssohn. Missing. You 
you can fix that while we're going for lunch. Lunch? Yes, you know that uh, little thing between breakfast and, and dinner? Oh, yes, uh, lunch. Oh, I just love to... Well, that's great. I... Well, of course she's great. What did I tell you? She'll simply make your show. Oh, she'd be a riot. She gets the part. Oh, Bill! That's enough, girl. That's from Uncle. I get the part. You get the bird. Hey! Oh, Say, this must be the wrong house. You sure this is the Smith house? Mm-hmm. Huh. Isn't this a mistake? No. Well, she died or something wrong with her? Good evening, miss. Oh, hello, Remington. Uh, where's that call? It's in the library, miss. And I'm afraid bathed in gloom. Not dissimilar in character is the case of Hovermeyer, plaintiff, and Crenshaw defendant in the Utah District Courts, 1917. Plaintiff charged defendant. Then, uh, thank goodness you're safe. Where have you been while it's over? Oh, never mind that, Uncle. Thank goodness you're safe. She didn't get the part. She got the part. She got the part. What part? What part? She got the part, still or it's all settled. Settled? Then, Nip. How did you ever do it? Oh, it's a long story, Uncle. In my feet. Yeah, I was just on the point of sending out an overdose of sleeping passes. And now everything's settled. My slate is wiped clean and never again. Oh, uh, Uncle, I forgot. All right. Uncle. Nanette. Uncle. Now, my father insists I marry Elma tomorrow. Don't forget you promised you'd help me. I'm in Boston. Love, Betty. Uncle. From Bridgeport. Not another. No, 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 it's not another, no. This, this one this wanted to try to make both ends meet, that's all. See, she was waiting on the table, and we got into conversation, and... Uh, she was very unhappy about her father. She wanted to be an interior decorator, and he wanted to marry a man three times her age, so naturally... Oh, I... is that you, senior? Hmm. The Smith affair. It's broken out in another place. Pauline, did you get everything of Mrs. Smith? Sure. Shoes, shirts, suits, woolen underwear, woolen socks. Don't wear them in New York. It's too hot. Do you mind if Mrs. Smith has cold feet? Not if you don't. Jimmy, you do pick the oddest times for your business trip. Auntie, there's the taxi. All right. Oh, I must have some fun. Oh, Jimmy, we plenty of time. Daylight saving time. That means we're gaining now. Oh, it doesn't mean we've lost. Oh, it's not lost now, dear. Please, just a little while. Mr. Smith, oh. Yes, ma'am. From Bridgeport. Has left. He's going round the world twice and he won't be back for five years. No, madam, he's going round the world. I really don't care where you're from. Madam, you are no lady. Yeah. 
practically at the door. Yes, the death door. Pauline, isn't New York wonderful? It's a bit small, but much bigger in the movies. The man ever wanted to lose himself to put in just the seven million souls in one city. Yes, and goodness knows how many heels. Oh, Pauline. Allow me, madam. No, thank you. We can manage. Thank you very much. You know, Jimmy, this looks awfully expensive. Do you think we should use our right name, Smith? Oh, why not, darling? Well, you know, a big publisher like you, they might recognize you and charge us extra. How about adding another eight? Hmm? Uh, You're quite safe here. Yes. She'll never find you in New York. Oh, oh, oh. oh pardon. 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 Come, Sasso, you Betty. Betty, uh, Bridgeport. Kitty from... Kansas. Kitty from Kansas? She's an artist. Paints, you know. We page for Catherine Revere? No, madame. Merci. Well, come, Sapo. Come, you bet. Jimmy. Jimmy. Oh. Huh? You're always just a as if you were trying to hide from someone or something. Hide? Me? <laughs> oh, this is not a laughing matter. You know, this is a very bad day for Taurus people. Have you, Mr. Murgatroyd, arrived? Not yet, madam. Oh. oh. My dear, I don't think we ought to stay here. Oh, I like it. They've given us a special rate. Uncle thinks it isn't safe. Huh? No. Termites. Oh. In California. Well, someone might have brought them in a suitcase. Or oh, nonsense. How could anyone make a living doing that? Come on, let's look at the room. When he does arrive, will you kindly tell him that Miss Revere is not in the habit of being kept waiting? That's right. What's that? Come here, Please. What a lovely surprise. Oh, how terribly, terribly good to see you. Uh, are you exhibiting? Oh, me, no. I don't feel I'm ready. Ah, check me. In art, if the soul is ready, the hand is ready. You need only thirst for truth. The fingers will respond. How oh, true. <laughs> and, my dear, stick to bright colors. Don't you ever develop a taste for pastels? I know. I took a whole bottle last week and my cough was just as bad. Oh, dress them down, that was oh, oh, Dress them down, dear. Pauline. 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 Pauline, how'd you know Mr. Fertilwirtle's friend was from Kansas? The accent. Oh, three of them. Yes. And the four of Oh, but Kitty isn't here. Oh, you hardly think so. You're right. I certainly would not. I suppose she lost her purse, too. No, she was wasting her time with a manicurist when all the time she had the making of a great portrait painter. I see. Well, I felt so natural. Wouldn't you have done the same if Rembrandt had come to you? And not if he moved his hips like Kansas Kitty. Oh. Jimmy, you look faint. Darling, you're working too hard. Many things at once. Auntie, I was just telling Uncle exactly the same thing. Oh, it makes me dizzy. You know, I hear there's been a lot of suicides here. Really? Open the window wide, darling, will you? Just open wide. Good. Uncle, we've got to think this out. I should have jumped with the other boys in 29. I've got an idea. Just how badly does your little friend want to paint? Well, she'd, she'd rather paint than, than eat. She would? Mm. Good. See, I've been a sort of fairy godmother to her. Uh, information, please. Uncle, you can leave it all to me.
I suppose you thought it was pretty mean of me to go off and leave you flat as I did. Well, it was a long walk. And yet you asked me to show you the town. That was very forgiving. Well, I'm glad you think that. Can I do anything to square accounts? Oh, yes, you can. Uh, oh, that is, if, if I can think of anything. Well, please try. Oh, strangely enough, uh, an idea is just coming into my mind. Good, good. Oh, it isn't quite there yet. Well... Maybe a whiff of the Hudson would help it along. Come on. Uh, yes, maybe it would. Oh, all this makes me wish I were an artist. Have you ever tried your hand? Uh, no, I haven't. But I you know should. Somewhat... You should. You'd find it fun. Oh, yes, I, I suppose if the soul is ready, one only needs to search the truth and the fingers will respond. Yes, I see what you mean. Uh, well, I have a friend who... Would a... you like to see where I painted my first picture and sold it? I'd love to. John? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. Oh, I like this. It's quaint. Oh, John, may we have some tea? Mm, I, I'm cozy. Oh, Anne. Anne. A view. Uh, yes, quite a view. <laughs> you, you mean my masterpiece. <laughs> well, they're a little, um... Shocking. Uh, no, just a little startling when you see them all together. <laughs> Let's just say they're, uh, commercial. Oh, Nanette. Tom, I really must tell you. I know Nanette, someone who's... Nanette, look. Who's a... That view with the sunlight just so. For eight years I've been trying to paint that, and I've never gotten it just the way I wanted. You, you can almost feel that glow. Oh, but... I'm sorry, you were saying... Oh, now, what was I saying? I'm afraid I put it out of your mind. Yes, I'm afraid you have. Oh, Washington Square. Oh, yes. Oh, who did that? Gillespie. No, not you. Mm -hmm. You surprised? Uh, well, what I mean is it's um, not much like your usual style. <laughs> it uh, has no legs in it. Throws everyone. <laughs> you like it? Oh, I love it. It's yours. For me? For you. Oh, Tom, that's wonderful. Oh, come, come now. It's not that good. Uh, John, that's exactly what we need. A nice cup of tea. Shall I brew it, sir? No, no, I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, I'll do it. Oh, you'd be surprised what a good cup of tea I can make. Oh! <laughs> I think you'd better let me do it. Maybe I am a little out of practice. <laughs> well, this helps. <laughs> Mr. Gillespie, I don't believe you ever made a cup of tea. Miss Smith, you're very difficult to deceive. Oh, uh, you're not so easy. Now, go sit down. The kettle isn't boiling yet. must be going, and I just have to talk to you about someone who'd rather paint than eat. Oh, oh, hold it. That is good. Uh, who wouldn't rather paint than eat? Tom, I must go. I have to get back to Uncle. Oh? Well, he'll probably be napping. Yes, that's what I'm afraid of. Goodbye. Smith's in the telephone book, but if anyone calls me, I'm not here. Remember, my name is Smith with two H's. Smith. Very good, sir. Thank you. You must meet Mr. Smith. You know he loves dogs. Yes, I'm sure Mr. Smith and I will get along delightfully. <laughs> Pauline, let those dogs go. Don't worry, they're going. Guess who? Jimmy! Oh, how do you do? You meant to surprise me. Oh, how sweet, how terribly sweet. Mm. Jimmy Monard. Oh. <laughs> my, my wife handles all my financial affairs now. Jimmy. Oh. Remember the old Kitty Revere? Just a simple, naive girl clipping your cuticle. Mm. Oh, but that's all behind us. To the future, Jimmy. And then, when the Metropolitan Museum is asking for a first from the brush of Catherine Revere, 
You, Jimmy, will be the happiest man at the hanging. I certainly will. Hello, Pauline. Hello. Uh, Uncle Lynn? He's in there with Kansas. Kansas? Oh, Jerry, uh, that twinkle in your eye. No, no, no. I haven't got a twinkle in my eye. Not the twinkle you mean. It's this one. Oh, that's it. Oh. Jimmy! Oh. Je want to be held, me. Je want to be held. Uh, all right, Paul. All right. Sounds sorry to me. Revere my niece, Miss Smith. Oh, little Nan. Jimmy told me so many things about you. Mr. James Smith. Mr. James I... Smith is not staying at this hotel, madam. Oh, yes, I know. I'm Mrs. James Smith. Will you wait? But him? Mr. James Smith is not staying at this hotel. Those were his instructions, madam. Well, when Mr. James Smith does stay at this hotel, will you tell him that Mrs. James Smith will be back in a few minutes? Miss Nanette Smith, please. What's the name, please? Miss Nanette Smith is staying with Mr. James Smith. Hello, Tom. Oh, Susan. Slight case of amnesia. Jimmy doesn't know he's staying here. Oh, well, it must run in the family. I, uh, I gave this to Nanette, and she left it in my studio. It's been so nice meeting little Nan. I think I'll stay and meet Mrs. Smith, too. Oh, Jimmy, what a divine picture of you. And very nicely framed. Nanette was born in April. Her planetary influences were excellent, April 19th. I don't know whether it was the planets or not, but... Someone deserves a lot of credit. Of course it was the planet. Your parents had nothing to do with it. But nothing. Really? Now, look here. Will you Don't get out of here? Don't me, darling. Oh, poor Jimmy. Oh, you, you wolf in chicken feathers. Uh, don't, Nanette. You just make her desperate. Nanette, this is the end. Oh... This is what comes of lying awake at night, worrying about your career, and seeing that you can be taken under the wing of an artist, a great artist. What great artist? Gillespie. Gillespie? Not the Gillespie. Oh, Jimmy, you darling, you darling. Why didn't you tell me you were putting me under the wing of Gillespie? Gillespie. At last I will paint. Astrologically, Aries and Leo are mad about each other. But a special effort must be made to like each other's friends. Then everything will run smoothly. I'll remember that. Seppel, you very new hero. We shall pay him to darling, you darling. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, Pauline. Oh, Mr. Gillespie. Uh, Mrs. Smith said I might deliver this personally to Miss Nanette. Oh, did you do that? Hmm. And I... Uh, well, you'll find her in there. Oh, thank you. Oh, hello. Uh, hello. Uh, you left this. I thought I'd bring it around. Uh, I'm sorry. Am I intruding? Oh, no, not at all. Mr. Gillespie. Mr. Gillespie? Mr. Gillespie. This is a very old friend of mine. Old friend? This is the biggest moment of my life. Absolutely. Well, any friend of Nanette's is a friend of mine. When do we begin? I'm ready. Do with me what you will. Tom, you don't know what this means to me. What? What means? Huh? Oh, Uncle means that this is the girl that I... That is, that we were telling you so interested in art. Mr. Gillespie, I want to paint horribly. <laughs> That's easy. Uh, particularly if you're a friend of Nanette's. Oh, a very dear friend of little Nan's. <laughs> I'm sorry you have to leave so soon. Oh, yes, goodbye. What a day this has been. And you made it all come true. Oh, Jimmy, dear me. Oh, you belly. Oh, here you are. Uh, allow me. If you hurry, you can catch the next elevator. Oh, don't you worry. I'll take good care of it. And don't be surprised if the teacher should learn something from the pupil. I won't be a bit surprised. Mr. Gillespie, if only I had a successful attack. Oh, but then you can mold me. I promise you one thing, I'll work hard for you. Oh, I'll be glad to look over anything you've got. I'll even mix your paint. I may not look it, but I can do the messiest thing. My lady wife clean once more and never again. That's right, Uncle, never again. Excuse me, sir. 
But would you like me to fix the flowers in Mrs. Smith's bedroom? Yes. Yeah. I wish you would. Uncle. Oh, yes. Never again. I can't seem to get the right expression on the fish. Uh, this is the fish. Oh, but still I feel I'm blooming under the touch of the master. Good morning, Miss. Good morning, John. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, all right, all right, I know. That's all for today. Little man, what it should be. Oh, Tom, don't ruin my fish. I think it'll need a little pressing today. All right, Miss, I'll see to it. Yo. Dear little man, you know I should be very happy to paint you when I finish my fish. That will be nice. Tom is such a great master. I feel I should be able to tackle anything by then. Au revoir, maestro. Au revoir, little man. Things I do for Uncle. Oh, Tom, you don't know how much I appreciate what you've done for Uncle. I mean, Fred and Kitty and me. Not at all, not at all. But she is a bit of a strain on Leo for Aries. Leo for Aries? Yes, I'm the Leo. I'm a bit of an astrologer. Oh, that's funny. So is Auntie. Is she? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, uh, Kitty could have been worse. Uh, could she? Oh, yes. You remember that Sonia something or other that was auditioning for Bill Trainer up in Boston? Uh, yes, I believe I do recollect. Um, didn't she do something with a bubble? That's the one, that's the one. Well, she got the job, bubble and all. Someone landed him with her. No. Yes. She's sure to kill the show. She's simply awful. To find Bill Trainer around rehearsals, now you have to look in dark corners. <laughs> Did you dig around? <clears throat> That's a long story. Oh, can I hear all about it after the show? Sorry, can you make it to more? I have a supper for you, see. <laughs> <laughs> Top goes the prophet. Well, you look like Diamond Jim Brady tonight. Thanks. I feel just like it. And, Jimmy, you look like the mouse that ate the cat. The bubble dancer. You know, frankly, I didn't think she had a thing. Nobody else did, either. Oh, but I... I... And here's to the girl who made it all possible. Yes, here's to... Sonia. Oh, oh, yes. Nichibo. Nichibo. To Nanette. Dad? Oh, well, truth is stranger than fiction. Oh, uh, um, Uncle, you promised me this dance. Oh, did I? <clears throat> uh, your favorite tune. Don't you remember? When did I ever promise you a dance? Well, you didn't, but I had to get you away. Why? Did I say something? Oh, just about enough to hang yourself. Auntie, right there. Oh, don't you worry about Auntie. Auntie and I understand each other perfect. Dear, what is all this Sonia mystery? I suppose she was a Romanoff. Uh, well, of course. Of course. Where's well, Mr. Stillwater? Oh, my dear Mrs. Smith. How oh, nice. This is Mr. Gillespie, and Mr. Trainer. This is Mr. Stillwater Senior. How are you doing? Pleasure. Well, Junior proved himself a chip off the old block, eh? Really? Oh, particularly when it comes to getting a Smith out of a jam. <laughs> jam? The 
Mr. Stillwaters have been getting Smiths out of jams ever since the Boston Tea Party. Is that so? Why, Mr. Smith's great-grandfather threw the first case overboard, if you remember. If I remember. <laughs> Jimmy, it looks as if Nanette will be able to take her choice. Yes, they're both civilians, isn't they? Yeah. I think it'll be Bill. Mm -hmm. Why? Can you see with a light like that? Well, that's much better, though, I think. Because didn't you hear Bill say that Nanette was responsible for Sonia Sonyovich's... Oh. Uh, well, it was them. It happened to it. Oh. Right in your eye, darling. I thought it was right in my eye. Mm. Did you know that Mr. Fertile Wordle's friend was studying with Tom Gillespie? I don't think. Oh, darling, can I have a glass of water? Mm, yeah. She seems to know where quite a lot of bodies are buried. Darling, isn't that awfully bright, your wife? Oh, I'm sorry, darling. One would think I was giving you the third degree. <laughs> Good night, sweet. Are you tired? Oh, no, just a little numb. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. Just that position.
Yes, sir. Mr. Gillespie cannot be disturbed. Oh, I never disturbed him. I inspired. Hello, Tom. Hello, Hutch. Uh, Miss Smith, my business manager, Mr. Hutchinson. Oh, how do you do? I do all right, thanks. You don't look so bad either, Tom. Congratulations, your taste is improving. <laughs> no, 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 don't encourage him. Pardon me just a minute. How about a special piece of work for Mary Winkles? No, not today, Hutch. And if I'm in the same mood tomorrow, nothing then either. You dropped your apple, Hutch. You didn't do that. Mm-mm. She did. Oh, Tom, it's wonderful. Why, it's just the thing. Mary Winkles will give five grand for that. Why, it'll sell a billion cigarettes. Sorry, I don't smoke. Now, we've changed the background and the color face. Dangle a cigarette from those ruby lips. It, uh, it might interest you to know that it's not mine to sell. No. No. Especially commissioned by Miss Nanette Smith. Miss Smith, uh, it's almost lunchtime. Will you do me the honor of... Pick up your apple, Hutch. Look here, Tom. Your clients have been yelling for something new. And now when you've turned out a beauty like this... It's not for sale. Too bad. Do you mind if I kick something on my way out? No. Uh, make it yourself, Hutch. I will. You weren't serious. Mm -hmm. That spoiled it a little. It was to have been a surprise. Oh! weather lately in Boston. Don't see weather, Miss Smith. Mm. Another storm? I'm afraid so. That reminds me, did you boys ever settle that trouble with uh, Syracuse? Oh, yes. A very satisfactory and unexpected <laughs> lesson. <laughs> oh, yeah. Looks as though she's out of shock, huh? Get, get a glass of water for that. I'll show you where it is. I'll get it, dear. What do you get? Uh, Yet she doesn't know anything about it. About what? About what you've come to see me about. About me? Have you finished with my curling on? What's up? Go get some headache pills. Headache? Yes. Senior thought it best for me to bring Betty here and settle the matter once and for all. How much can they do for? Two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand? Curls cash for 48 hours. I got a bit of this always helps me. Try that. Oh, oh, oh. Here on page 72, it says to elevate the plane. Oh, elevate the lane. <laughs> She's very cute, isn't she? The feet should be high. Get some pillows. Hello? Oh, yes, hello. But they'd settle out of court for 5,250. 5,250? I haven't even got the 50. 5,250? 5,500 grand! Uncle, what? you can leave it to me. Your troubles have all gone up in smoke. Come along, darling. Mr. Nesby, it's a fine piece of work. Oh, very much. You don't think there's too much... Oh, no, no, no. This is something you don't have to be modest about. Do you think the owner will allow us to show it in London? Now, I'll underwrite a great reception. New York, Philadelphia, Boston. <laughs> John, Mr. Gillespie not in. He'll be back for tea. Oh, all right, I'll wait. He'll be staying for tea? Mm-hmm. Yes, thank you. Oh, Betty from Bridgeport.
Connoisseurs. They're crazy about it. They want to exhibit it everywhere. New York, London, Boston, Philadelphia. What? Your portrait, of course. Don't you see, darling? It means the Gillespie girl is dead in all her world of legs, lingerie, mouthwash. Now I can paint what I want. And, and that you did it. on here, Hutch? Madam, your check. 5,250. Congratulations. What is this, Hutch? One of your impractical jokes? Put that back. Oh, Tom. Tom, I sold it. I didn't know. I... There's been a mistake. You can't have it. Sold it? Yes. Here, take it back. Oh, I couldn't take it back. I've already started to build up the whole campaign around it. It was hers to sell. Oh, yes. Yes, the portrait belonged to Miss Smith. Who bought it? Mary Wiggles. Perfect. I'll sketch in a cigarette dangling from her lips for nothing. Oh, Tom. You better leave it alone. All right, boys, take it away. Don't worry, it won't be lost to posterity. You'll see it next month on the back cover of College Humor. Yes, but I really didn't want to... I, well, I just... I don't like the looks of them. She's all worked up and the other fellows here. Pauline, will you tend to your own business? I will, but don't say I didn't warn you. Hello. Hello. These are beautiful, Bill. They should be studded with diamonds. It looks as if so long sister's good for a year's run. You don't mean it. Uh, I, I mean, after all, what did I tell you? And so you did. So this evening we're going to celebrate. Oh, not this evening, Bill. I don't feel much like celebrating. Say, what's happened to that laugh? Well, I guess I used it all up on Mitchell. What do you say we go out and try to find it again, huh? All right, Bill. I'll be with you in ten minutes. Where do we go? Oriental Cafe on 66th Street. Oh, that was just about right. She jumped at a dinner engagement from Bill as if she hadn't had a thing to eat in a month. Yeah, there it is. Nanette. What of it? Well, my guess is she's been trying to help someone out of a jam and gotten a jam herself. Oh, you're going to spoil me. Purple passion. Yes. Uh, excuse me, darling. I just remembered something. Purple passion. In that kind of a mood. In that kind of a mood. Oh, the dead broad. Let's go out someplace wicked tonight. What about the pirate then? Oh, sublime. I feel like dancing tonight in the worst way. Well, you get yourself a start there while I shake. Yes, I think I'll have a little slug. Have something mild. You'll find the gin on the table. Make mine whiskey and soda. Double whiskey and soda. Gin. Gin? I thought you said whiskey and soda. Uh, yes, whiskey and soda. Well, make up your mind, Shelley. Yeah. Never mind. What happened between you and Nanette? She knew I'd put everything I felt about her into that painting. What painting? Her portrait. She sold it. How much? Does it matter? Yes, yes, it does matter. 5,250. Mary Winkle. You knew? Shall I bring it in? Oh, uh, no, no. I, uh... I haven't any pants. Cherie, la, la. What would you say if I were to tell you that I've been leading a double life? Good heavens, I don't even be so surprised. I've just been trying to spread a little sunshine. The Sue know? Yes, the slightest suspicion. I want to be happy, but I won't be happy till I make you happy too. Well, that's understandable. My husband likes to spread a little happiness. But he promised me the moon. He lured me on. Are you sure you're talking about my husband? Yeah, Jimmy. 
I'm the only steady one in the family. You don't mean it. I do mean it. Precious pie. Your drink is getting flat. Thank you. Where's Nanette now? They're starting with Oriental dinner someplace on 46th Street. Oh, you mean that restaurant where you sit in booths? Private food. Oh, that's where Bill always starts. You mustn't let her out of your sight for a minute. Don't worry. Good luck. Uh, darling, do you like Oriental food? I thought we were going to the Pirates' Den. Uh, these are Oriental Pirates. Oh. Ah, Mr. Trainer. Evening, son. You use your dinner, sir? Right. And you use your booth? Right. You're a regular customer. Oh, yes, uh, very regular. What's this? No Balinese custom. Do I have to do it? Of course. Well, this is going to be fun. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Just as you described it. You take tea, Mr. Trainer? You like tea in there? Mm -hmm. Tea for two. And Song, have them prepare some of that duck. You know, uh, your special dish. With pleasure. Say, say, will you please come back to Bali? Oh, I'm sorry, though. Well, where do we sit? Right there, with your feet tucked under. Oh, oh right. Right. Oh, yes. Can we have that booth? You're the boss, sir. Oh! What's your shoes, sir? Hmm? Oh. Well, oh, very amusing. And put on team. Nice and private. Well, I do eat it. No, just uh, take it and crack it like that. Tea for two, sir? Oh, no, no, anything with tea. Make my vodka with a dash of gin. With pleasure. Oh, nice. Mm. He admires you. I think I'd better crack my... Uh, I think we'd better change places. You're in a draft. Oh, you do make the silliest excuses. <laughs> Well, we've got company. I'm sorry, I... We... Why, little man, what an unexpected pleasure. Why, well, unexpected? That's what comes of not watching what you're doing. Uh, why, Bill, how are you? Nice seeing you. Yes. <laughs> nice seeing you. You must think we're perfectly awful. No, just preoccupied. I'm sorry, I, I really don't know how it happened. You do too, sweetie. You were leaning over much too far. Uh -huh. Well, uh, uh, see you again. Yeah, glad you dropped in. Uh -huh. Come on. What do you say we uh, go somewhere else where the traffic's a bit thinner, huh? Well, let's get some fresh air. Oh, well, it's the unexpected things that make life such fun. Come on, Kitty. I just got fed. Darling, you're so here. restless tonight. Little Nan was so surprised when we dropped in. Mr. Furtleworth. Miss Rivale. My fish. My dear, you have arrived. I have? Where? Le Grand Prix de l'Exposition des Artistes Surrealistes. Bill, Bill Brown Bear. Okay. Hey, hey, snap out of it. Hurry up, Kitty. What? Oui. Mais non. Mais tu vous as dit. Non. The Ray Catherine. Non. Yes, sir. Get in. Of course, there's only 5,000 restaurants in New York City, and you had to pick the Oriental. I, uh, think it's a conspiracy. Of course it's a conspiracy. Miss Yes, and she's expecting you. Good. Oh, hello, dearie. Come in, darling. Have a nice walk. You know, you didn't tell me about little Betty. She's not up to your usual standard. Darling, you mustn't lose your touch. Oh, Susan, I... Uh... You mean you know about him all the time? But of course. Oh, why, it isn't nice. It's, it's disgusting. You, you twerp, you... Yeah, she's sweet. You should have told me. 
Oh, to think I have such a dear, understanding wife. Yes, just to think. I never meant any harm. I just want to spread a little sunshine. Yes, that's what I told her. It was all so innocent. You know I'm as pure as a lily. Yes, a harem lily. Sonia Sonyovich. You can't have any from Bridgeport, you Casanova, right under my nose. You thought I was blind, you best pocket Romeo. But Donnie was never on an emotional basis. It was purely intellectual. I suppose you discussed the classics. If that trio ever curled up in bed with a good book, the book would curl up first. Oh, darling, couldn't we discuss this in the morning when we've cooled off? By then, I'll be sizzling at the Grand Hotel Reno. Get married just like that? Married? Uh-huh, married. You don't have to wait for the license, and in uh, 45 minutes, you're in California on your honeymoon. Oh, that's convenient, isn't it? Yes, I think so. Did you hear anything? Brother, in my profession, it's unethical to eavesdrop. Thank you. You're welcome. Skies are gray and you say you are blue. I'll send the sun shining through. I can't get a wink of sleep. What's all the noise? Quiet, Pauline. Hello, Mrs. Stillwater. I want a divorce. A divorce? Yes, a divorce. Quiet, Pauline. A divorce? So, yes, madam. Who is speaking? Mrs. Smith. Is this Senior Junior speaking? Oh, no, no. You better have Senior handle this. Unfortunately, Senior's out with an important client, and we are unable to locate him. Oh, but you must find him. I'm leaving for Reno tonight, and Senior must make that plane. Oh. Oh, what is it? <laughs> Just the Smith family cracking up. Cracking up? Blow me down. Long distance, please. Mr. Smith, if I could be of service. Some writing paper. Hello, Remington. Order 12 cases of champagne, lots of caviar and absinthe, and double the servant's wages. Yes, that's right. I said double the servant's wages. Pauline, you know? Everything. Very sad. Very sad. Oh, Mr. Smith, is it too late? I want everything worked out. I'm going to a little island in the... Pacific? Yes. Pacific. And forget it all. Very sad. No, no. Mr. Smith will not be returning. Never. Very sad. <laughs> You hurry and get back, and I'll pick you up in 15 minutes. All right. I'll be ready. Taxi. Say, we seem to be following each other around. Yes, we do, don't we? Say, that reminds me. What is this, a holdup? No, it's a kidnapping. Oh, now, look here. Now, you look here. Oh, you don't tell none then. Yet. No. Pauline, I'm a loathing fellow. Well, not a word to Uncle Nancy till it's 
too late. No, I won't. They've got plenty on their own platters. Pauline, mm. will you help me pack? I've only got a few minutes. Can I get through without being seen? Oh, a crazy night. But what do we have? Oh, summary things. California. California, that's better. Niagara Falls. Oh, Pauline. I'm so glad you didn't pick that fellow with the curls. My father said that curls were always a sign of weakness, but then he was as bald as a coot. Did you get it? Yes. He didn't see you. No, I got it out in the nest bedroom. Pauline, get in there. Oh, Mrs. Smith. No, no, not now. Not till I've gone. But it's too late. Pauline. Is that for Mrs. Smith? Uh, not now. Wait till after I've gone. Till it's too late. Oh, Mr. Smith. did you pick? Oh, the right one, Pauline. Well, the right one said he can't come back and that you're to go to the airport straight in the plane and that he'll bring the tickets. And he's using the name of Brown to avoid publicity. Oh, thank you, Pauline. Oh, don't thank me. I think you're making a mistake. Oh, yes. Well, will you see that this note reaches Mr. Gillespie, but not until I'm gone. Till it's, I know, until it's too late.
Let me help you. What are you doing here? What are you doing? I'm loping. Good. I'm getting divorced. Divorced? Oh, yes, your uncle turned out to be quite a bluebeard. No. I've already called three out of his beard, so I'm going to Reno and get him shaved. Oh, never mind about me. You're going in and I'm going out. Come on, Congratulations. Where's the groom? Oh, he's in bed. He's not feeling very well. I'll be probably a little nervous. Is this for you, Mrs. Smith? Thank you. For you, Mrs. Smith. Jimmy. Tom. For you, Mr. Smith. Huh? behind you see he loves you too and i made him admit it oh you made him admit it oh but it was easy oh well let me tell you something i'm getting right out of this plane in this very minute well you can't do that nanette oh don't worry aunt you can leave it to me everything will be settled settled and i've lost my jim <laughs> oh don't cry like that auntie it's the only way i know how it's uncle Divorcing him. Divorcing him? Divorce? Oh, Sue, you can't do that. Of course you can't. You've got to forgive him. Forgive him? And he's hundreds of miles away. After all, it was all my fault. I just didn't understand it. He just wanted to spread a little happiness. Oh, that's right, Auntie. You must forgive him. If he were here right now, I'd throw my arms around his neck and ask him to forgive me. Sue, you weasel. Following me, eh? But darling, uh, don't darling me, Mr. Stillwater. Hey, Mr. you. Stillwater. Hey, I've been counting sheep, and you've scared away over three hundred with your racket. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Stillwater. Mr. Still, Mrs. Smith. I'm afraid you're disturbing the other passengers. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. I'm looking for Mr. Stillwater. Oh, darling, we must save Uncle. What again? Oh, Auntie, you must forgive him. I wouldn't forgive him if he came crawling to me on his hands and knees. But still, think of his virtue. Oh, he doesn't smoke. He doesn't drink. No, he saves himself for the big things. Bill, I was only trying to spread a little sunshine. Yes, I know, Jimmy, but you laid it on a bit too thick. Get back in your teepee. Mr. Stillwater, will you serve the papers? My dear Mrs. Smith, you have no grounds for divorce. No grounds? No. To marrying you, your husband had a surplus of happiness, so he disposed of his surplus happiness to less happy children. Children? Did you ever meet Sonia? Yes, a sweet child, who tonight abdicated as comedy queen of Broadway to wed the eminent Greek professor Eximenes. And what about Kitty from Kansas? At this moment being joined in holy matrimony to the curator of many museums, Mr. Furtlewurtle. And tomorrow she will be hung at the Metropolitan Museum. Good. 974, 975, 976, 977. And I suppose Betty from Bridgeport is a sweet little soul who longs... Mrs. Smith, I must ask you to speak with respect of the wife of one of the most eminent members of the legal profession. My foot. No, my wife. 
Your wife. Oh. Betty? Bridge court. <laughs> Why don't you go to bed? Good night. Good night. Oh, now Uncle Steve's safe. You've been wonderful, both of you. Thank you, Tom, and you... And particularly Bill, you know he... Oh, why, of course. I knew it all the time. A radio for Mr. Smith. I'll tell you. Thank you. Radio for you, darling. Slossy from Frisco. Mr. Stillwater! Mr. Stillwater! Mr. I want to be happy, but I can't be happy till I make you happy, too. Life really was delirious when we are not hearing. Why can't I hear some? When I'm tired of and to say you are blue, you spend the sun smiling through. Happy, but I can't be happy till I make you happy too.